Hello YouTube, it is Technical Paradox here, and today I'm going to show you how to make channel art. This is going to be my first video, and here we go. Um, so the first thing you want to do, you're going to want to do, is go to your YouTube channel. You then want to go and click Edit Channel Art or Add Channel Art, whatever it says for you. Then you click How to Create Channel Art, and you're going to want to download this picture here. And once this picture is downloaded. Just give it a second. I'm downloading something else as you can see here. And when that's done downloading, go ahead and just drag it on your desktop. And then you're going to want to go um, get a program. It's an image editor called GIMP. Uh, it's free, don't worry. It's a GNU image manipulation program. I'm gonna click here. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna want to go to downloads and download for whatever computer you have, and just click uh, the the first link. That should be the one that works. And you're gonna download that. You're gonna install it and do all that. Once that's done, you're gonna go ahead and open the program. Just give that a second. Open. It takes some some. Uh, it takes long sometimes. And that's the wrong tab. I want a new window. Okay. Here it says that you want to use a 2,120 by 1,192 pixel uh, thing here. So we're going to click on new. And we're going to do 2,120 by 19 something. I don't remember. Uh, 2,120 by 1,192. Alright, and then you're going to click OK, and it's going to get you a nice, perfect size thing here. Uh, then you're going to want to drag the picture you just downloaded onto this so that you have a good reference. Um, you're going to click on the tool here, it's the Move tool right here, and you're going to want to drag this so that it fits the screen perfectly. Um, these dotted lines right here should be you just want to make sure all the yellow lines are, that no yellow lines is showing so you see on the right there's a little bit um, there's none at the top and there's just these little dotted lines here that's perfect so now uh, for me I made my background I click you can click on the layer here background and I made mine black so you can see that this is in front of this, but if I drag it be back behind it, the background is black. This is just here for reference. It's not going to show up in your final copy, like final uh, product. So for me, so as you can see here, let me explain this a little bit. This section here is only is going to like all of this. Like here, let me I'm uh, let me figure out a way to explain this. This smaller section in the red is what mobile users will see. So if you're on a phone and you're on the YouTube website or YouTube app or whatever, this is what will show up for them as your channel art. Um, if you're on a tablet, this is what will show up in the purple. If you're on a desktop, this is what will show up. And if you're on a TV, this is what will show up. So that is basically how this works so you want to get your main stuff that you want everybody to see in this smaller one um, so let me show you mine I have mine on a USB drive so that I can t put it in back and forth in between my uh, my thing so this is what mine looks like just give it a second Alright, so mine, it's the right size, perfect, and this is what people on mobile will see about, and then this is what tablets will see, and this is what desktops will see, and then on TV, it actually says you're on a TV, you should subscribe, so yeah, and actually I'll show you my, do I have it? 
Yeah, I do. I actually have the project file for GIMP. Um, so that you can see all my layers and stuff. I have this way in the background. Like, you can't see it because it's behind, it's under this, which is the black layer that covers everything. Um, up here, there's the text that says UOTV. You should subscribe. Um, there's the little paradox thing on the right side. The same thing, just flipped with the flip tool here. You can just flip things on the left side. Uh, then I have binary code. This binary code, actually, I went to a website and I translated technical paradox into binary code. That's what that is. And then I have this main text that says technical paradox. So I'm going to go ahead and close this one and go back to this. So we're going to go ahead and put some text here and say, I would put your YouTube channel name. And I like the font. Well, you, first of all, you're going to have to select this then. I like the font Planet X. I downloaded that font uh, from a website, but I like that font. So there's that. Then you're going to want to select it again. And you're going to want to change the size. And you're obviously, if you have a black background, or whatever color you make it, you can make it whatever color you want by clicking on that and changing colors and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the text green, I don't know, and then I'll keep making it bigger. I wanna make it fit the, and you can add some spaces. Oops. I don't know, just try to uh, make it however you want. Alright, so then when you have everything all nice, or however, just try to make it what, like look like or whatever. You can use multiple text boxes or whatever. But, uh, so yeah. I. And then you can click the move tool. You just make sure you click the text and make sure that's selected, or else you drag the background. And you can do that. Uh, if you have an extra image, you can just drag that right onto the picture and format it to whatever. But that's basically how you make your it's how you make your channel art uh, the perfect size so it actually shows up on things. I'll show you what mine looks like. Wrong thing again. I'll show you what mine looks like when I want to upload it. Um, select a photo from the computer. I have it on my thing still. Alright. So here's my channel. Right? And as it's uploading, it's at 100%, but it's not apparently. Alright, so here it actually shows you what it's going to look like so you can make sure that it's all right. So here on desktop, it looks perfect. TV, perfect. And mobile, perfect. Um, I don't understand why they don't have a tablet up here as well, but that's their choice. So yeah. And then you just click select and that is how you make channel art that is the perfect size. And also, if you wondering, if you're wondering why am I a uh, little thing here is white in the background. It's actually transparent, so if I upload a YouTube video and I have my thing set so that it's in the bottom right of the thing, in the bottom right of the video, it'll be transparent so only that text will show up. I also have uh, a black version, but yeah, I like the transparent. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you out and if it did, please leave a like or a rating and uh, maybe a favorite. Uh, be sure to subscribe so you can see my next video. And go ahead and leave some feedback if you have any of that. I love receiving feedback, uh, positive or negative, as long as I get feedback so that I know what to do in the future. Um, but yeah, just thank you for watching and see you next time.